Before I begin the video, I'd like to thank Eustacia Soft Limited for the review key. Now on to the review. The Shuangyuan Sword series has for years been a revered name in the Chinese gaming circles. Yet the latest installment, Shuangyuan Sword, Mist Beyond the Mountains, poses a unique challenge for those attempting to dissect its intrigued tapestry of storyline and gameplay. Developed by Soft Star Entertainment and Domo Studios, this turn-based RPG introduces players to Septim, a Frankish knight embroiled in a grand adventure spanning Benin's to the Tang Empire of China. From the outset, the narrative promises a globe throwing journey, interwined with historical events and mystical elements. However, the experience is marged by a glaring flaw. The English translation, characterized by misspelling punctuations, inconsistent spacing, and awkward facing, becomes a significant barrier to comprehension. The potential richness of the plot, laden with religious conflict, character histories, and emotional depth is obscured by the translation's inadequacies. For instance, Septim's complex relationship, such as his repressed feeling for Lillian, becomes enigmatic due to the tonal confusion introduced by the translation. The summoning of a demoness named Nicole by an old man adds an element of playfulness, but the translation renders her character awkward and out of sync with the intended tone. On a brighter note, the game boasts a visual striking element. The pixel graphics, particularly evident in the battle, sprites, and hand-drawn backgrounds, provide a nostalgic charm. The character design, the occasional dissonant, showcase creativity. However, the occasional blurry text and uninspiring dungeon design detract from the overall visual experience. And accompanying the visuals is a commendable soundtrack that captures the essence of diverse game areas. The evocative musical score contributes to the immersive atmosphere. The absence of voiceovers is notable, but not detrimental to the overall experience. The gameplay implodes a traditional turn-based combat system. Here the game falters with issues ranging from an overly simplistic combat structure to unbalanced difficulty scaling. While some battles are easy and effortless, others prove to be rather hard. Moreover, the lack of direction in the game exacerbates the player's sense of confusion. The absence of clear objectives without custom reference to the journal disrupts the flow, often leading to aimless wandering. Strong Yon Sword, Miss Beyond the Mountains, stands as a paradox of untapped potential and crippling shortcomings. The creative narrative and intriguing character dynamics are overshadowed by the debilitating English translation. While the visual and musical aspects strive to elevate the overall experience, gameplay burdened by unbalanced combat and lack of direction hampers the realization of the game's inherent potential. Unfortunately, it is a game I cannot recommend, not even to those of you who love RPGs. Thank you for watching and have a great day.